Oh. There's a lot of empty space. Oh my god. There's enough empty space to put Samus on the screen! Fucking fantastic. So, uh... <clears throat> You're too retarded to be in the stream, so get the fuck out, dumb shit. You know, I feel like the title screen spoils the fact that uh, Lisa's dead. I could make a game like this. Am I unable to do any damage? Because I'm craving joy and I can't find any? I got all fucked because Brad, like, wanted to take joy, but I didn't have joy with me. So he spent all his battles doing zero damage. Well done, you've proven your power. You got a karate scroll, make sure you read it. <gasps> no! I need to make a bot. Every time somebody types the word oof, the bot should time them out for 30 minutes and say, oof is the most stupid meme. Saying oof indicates that you are a 12 year old child. Do not say it again and you'll be banned. And then if they say it again, they get banned. It's just such an indication that somebody is like less than 13 years old. Terry's absolutely fucking useless. So this will be the game. More than half the time I'm in a fight. Uh, Brad is just guarding because he's got withdrawal. What? I don't know about this game. I don't really enjoy this game very much. Eh. Is this really a good game? This game seems kind of shit. I don't know, this game seems kind of shit. It's the joy withdrawal that really makes this fucking annoying. I read on the internet that it's random too. I mean, this, this, I'm interested in the story. I would be interested in playing the game to see, you know, what happens in the story. I don't know, this game seems kind of shit. Should I really play it? I wouldn't do it by a poll, I'd do it by my own volition. Uh, this kind of sucks. You don't get to rest. I mean... One thing that makes uh, joy, what's it called? One thing that makes joy withdrawal go away is if you rest, but you don't get to rest whenever you want. You can only rest at a rest spot and there's battles in between me and the next rest spot. I don't know, intentionally making your game a pain in the ass to play simply for the novelty value of making an unforgiving game. I mean, that can be done well, or it can be done poorly. feeling it. This game seems like shit. If there's like a mod for the game or some sort of cheat code that allows you to play without all that dumb joy bullshit, then I might play it. Well, I mean the whole thing with joy withdrawal is that you take joy to get rid of it. So I could just make the character take joy, but I know that taking joy changes the ending. If I take joy, then I'll get, I guess, like, the bad ending, you know? So between, like, quitting the game, but because joy withdrawal is too fucking stupid of a game mechanic, or playing the game and getting the bad ending by using joy because it's, it's unbearable if you don't use joy, which of those two options do I, would I rather choose? What is the difference? between humans and animals. You might think it's the ability to use tools or the ability 
to build structures. You might think it's the ability to plan for the future, or the ability to use language to communicate. You might think it has to do with empathy and compassion for other members of the species. But no, none of these things are the real difference between humans and animals. The real difference between humans and animals is that humans will change their environment to suit them, whereas animals will simply exist within whatever environment they're put into. Humans will seek out problems in their environment and then solve them. If a solution doesn't exist, humans will invent the solution. If there's something bad or wrong in your environment, you as a human will seek to remove it. And if you can see room for improvement in your environment, you will attempt to make your surroundings better. That is the difference between humans and animals. So I was playing this game called Lisa and I really wasn't having any fun. I did not enjoy it very much. And I thought to myself, you know, this game would actually be better with just a few things changed. So I decided to extract the game's files and then change the things I don't like. And, you know, make a little, make a few edits, make a few tweaks, and then uh, export the game and play it. So uh, now I've modded Lisa to my satisfaction. And now I think I will actually have fun playing Lisa. Because I am not an animal. I am a human, god damn it. All right. Check this out. Check this out. If, you're, if you've played Lisa before, you know that bottle isn't normally there. So check this out. You see my, my, I, I've got, see this, can I have a mouse cursor? Okay. See this little thing right here? This is why I don't enjoy Lisa. Joy withdrawal. The main character is addicted to a substance called joy. It's like a drug. And when he's not taking joy, he's, when, when, when he's, when he's not, when you don't give him joy, he suffers from joy withdrawal. So uh, I, I think that sucks. So I put this bottle here. So now I have uh, mystery jerky. There, it cured his joy addiction. Now he'll never suffer from joy addiction ever again. I also went into the game and I deleted all of the code that has to do with um, joy addiction. See, I, I just deleted it. It's gone. It's all gone. It's completely deleted. I just got rid of it. I just deleted it all. I just completely highlighted the entire thing and hit the delete key. That's all I did. So theoretically, he should never get joy withdrawal ever again. Oh yeah, I also modded it so that Terry actually does damage. Terry no longer does two damage. Thank you, Last Occur, for the ten bits. I mean, there were two options. Uh, option one, I stop playing a game because I'm having zero fun with it. Option two, I mod the game so it's actually bearable. Between those two options, I, I knew what I wanted more. I mean, I made changes to make it bearable, but bearable and good are different. Nern does feel like a useless character. The treasure was in your heart all along. Welcome to the waifu, waifu wagon, Moto Boy. No. I had a feeling that was the way that was going to turn out. What if... No. What if, like, the way forward is... No, that's not it. If there's anybody here who's played this game before and knows what I'm supposed to do, I think it would help me if uh, you'd uh, give me a little, little little clue, little tip, little tip, little clue there, a little, little clue hint. 
Because right now I'm just about to like go back to the previous area and look for something to do back in the previous area. Because it seems like there's nothing to do here. You're tearing me apart, Lisa. Uh, the chat room is full of references to the room instead of like actual useful information. So if anybody said anything useful, I didn't get to see it and you should blame... Blame the people who are spamming memes instead of saying something useful. What will I do when I finish Yandere Sim? I mean, if you're looking for like a, uh, a really literal answer, then uh, like the game comes out, there will still be bugs even after it's come out. So I'll probably have to fix the bugs for a while. And then adjust the game based on feedback. Look for any exploits people are using and then fix the exploits. If people are saying, yo, it's a shit game for reason XYZ, then I'll consider fixing XYZ, you know? So I'll be doing stuff like that for a little while. Maybe if, like, people are, are saying, you know, maybe if the game is a huge success and people want DLC, then I would make DLC for a little bit. Or maybe I would uh, speak with a company and have the company make the DLC. While I go do other stuff. Or... <laughs> or work with a company to port the game to... Another platform like... Um, PS4 or something. I don't know. I mean, I won't really know what I'm gonna be doing. What the fuck? Is that guy farting on me in my sleep? But after Yandere Sim... After I'm like 100% done with Yandere Sim and will never touch it again... Because it's 100% finished, all bugs fixed, all exploits fixed, all, like, post-release updates are done, all DLC is done. It's been ported to other platforms and there's nothing left to do with the game. Then I think I would make a very simple game. I think I'll spend a few years making, like, super, super, super simple games. Instead of working on one super complex game that's going to take, like, five years to make. I'm kind of fucked. This guy is redonkulously fucking hard. This guy seems ridiculously fucking powerful. How am I supposed to kill this guy? Oh, I was fighting against a guy in, uh... Uh, Street Fighter. And he used Chun-Li. And I was thinking, Chun-Li is probably this guy's waifu. He's probably obsessed with Chun-Li. Like... Like, you know how sometimes, uh, there's people... We just have this, like, ridiculously unhealthy, like, disgusting, like, disturbing, like, frankly disturbing obsession with a fictional character. And, like, they honestly, genuinely, seriously believe that they are destined to be with the character and, like, the character... They imagine that the character is their wife, like, they imagine they're married to that character. And they, like, obsess over the character and never stop talking and make all these lewd remarks about the character. And, like... Masturbate furiously. Well, anyway, the point is I was playing this guy in Street Fighter and his name was like Chun-Li forever And I'm like, oh this guy's waifu is probably Chun-Li I bet he plays the game with like a life-size doll of Chun-Li in his hands Hey, is this a typical playthrough of Lisa? Am I like playing Lisa the way it normally gets played? Or am I like totally fucking being bad and shit? What are you annoying me? Let's fucking go, man. I'm pretty fucking strong at this point, dude. Wow, I thought this would be easier because the recent fights were pretty, pretty, pretty easy. I mean, it's okay to have nipples, but damn, those nipples are... Oh, pay up now. You gave away all your mags! Come on, dude. How many was that? That was probably a lot. Terry, do it! No. And you will continue to see me type in W-A-W-A, also known as Wawa, also known as... Fuck! Fuck! You gotta be fucking with me, dude! You got- what? what? I feel like I should reload my save. Because I don't want to play the rest. You know what? 
I should reload my save, put a shitty person I don't care about. Fuck. Do not count deaths. I should put a I should reload my save and put a really shitty character into the second slot. And then let let that person die. You gotta be kidding me. God damn it! This is the Dark Souls of Lisa. No! Not dude, a Lisa. 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 How do you not see this? Lisa. Every day we stray further away from I'm still in a dream, Snake Eater. Why don't you die? Die! Shit. Thank you, Don Dyer, for subscri- Fuck! Thank you, Don Dyer, for subscribing. Welcome to the waifu wagon. You get one free waifu, any waifu you want. The Muddy Waters 2. Muddy Rest. Okay, so here's Muddy Rest. Now, what is this event? Okay, it's a save. Your entire party has been poisoned. Now, let's load the game. Do, 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 do. The most simple type of programming. Just go in there and delete somebody else's code so that you've technically changed things. <laughs> I believe I have completely removed the possibility that my guy can go missing. I mean, it can say your dude has been kidnapped. Wait, no. It can't. Well, let's just find out. I'm. I, it might have locked up. Yeah, it might have frozen. So, let me make it 6 to 6. There. So now, um... Only one possible outcome can happen. I get a gift. Well, of course, now I gotta go all the way back. No, 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 no. There. Paste. Edit it. Turn off that tent batter thing. No. I can mod the game, but I cannot save myself. From myself. See, if I had been making this game, then at some point during playtesting, I would have done that. And I would have realized, oh, the player might do that to themselves at one point. That's not a fun experience, so I should probably make it so the player can't do that. And I would make it so there's never a drop that's like three feet away from a cave entrance. Because then you could potentially accidentally go off of it. In Unity, the way it works is that there's something called a prefab. And you edit the prefab, and then all instances of it change all across the entire game. Now, every every save point would be updated, whatever you did. See, if I could, I would just make it so every save point heals you. <coughs> yeah, dude, if he just made saving a common event, then uh, that would have really made things easier, dude. How it works, you know. Top 10 anime villains. Number one, Robbie Rotten. See, I'm really, 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 really fucking glad I put that save point there, dude. Guys, I broke that game. Will you forgive me? What the fuck? What the fuck is this? Your party. You're a fucking retard sold out. Go fucking kill yourself, dumb shit. You're a fucking idiot. When you're playing a story game, you gotta pay attention to the story, dumb shit. Eat shit and die, fuckhead. If anybody's like, 
Who got banned? Why did they get banned? Just time them out for 24 hours. I like this game for the story, but... Mm. That's the dumbest fight ever, man. Of course we need the... Ha uh, ha ha, that's the trademark of Unknown Vessel. Where's... Thank you very, very, very much, Unknown Vessel, for your generosity as always. Webcam goal... Oh my god! We are less than one dollar away from the webcam... Base cam goal. Oh my god! Ooh. What a nice view. Hmm. Looking pretty good up there. Hmm. Hmm, look at that. Beautiful. Just beautiful. The most simple type of programming. Just go in there and delete somebody else's code so that you've technically changed things.